didn't grow up sailing like many skippers. I played basketball for like 40 years until I, I, I realized I was getting more injuries than points. So about 15 years ago, Frank, who owns a home on Sunapee, bought a boat and was sold on a new sport. It's been a great experience for him. He's learned how to sail. Sailing in races makes you a better sailor. Frank is captain of the Lake Sunapee Cruising Fleet, which holds races every Wednesday night through the summer. His boat is a flying Scott named Scott Free. Don't fall off because you fall off, you know, if, we, if we're doing really well, we'll come back and get you. If we're not doing well, we'll pick you up. But. <laughs> Helping our captain with the rigging, first mate, Doug Proctor. Got it? Got it. We're sailing. So most people sailing took it up when they were kids, and it's instinctive, like riding a bicycle. Uh, when you take it up later, you forget everything over the winter, and you'll relearn it every year. And it's going to be fun to get back on the water again. I haven't sailed for a few years, so I grew up sailing since I was a young girl and had a variety of different boats, so this will be fun. It's a battle for me to see if I can compete. I love the competition. As we motor out to the start, the race committee boat sets the course over. and keeps a close eye on the winds. Three six, three nine, four one, four three. Tonight, we'll be lucky to get in a race. Yeah, oh man. The quiet winds are a change from the conditions during the 2022 Sonar Class World Championship hosted by the Lake Sunapee Cruising Fleet in cooperation with the Lake Sunapee Yacht Club. On Sunday, it was 25 to 30 knots. So it was very exciting sailing. Uh, we did have some broken booms and a few broken halyards and spinnaker poles. We had one boat broach, which means the mast went all the way down to the water. One of the crew members fell overboard, but they got him back on board. So it was pretty wild out of the lake, which the sailors liked. The racing was terrific. High action, high impact, high speed, uh, which was a lot of fun. A lot of the skippers commented how beautiful the lake was and just how much more challenging it was to, to race on a lake like Lake Sunapee. Everybody, welcome to Sunapee. A serenade at the starting line where skippers jockey for position. They're all dancing around in circles trying to get in position and also they let their sails luff so that they don't go over the line ahead of time. Good start, watch is running. This is it? Yeah. We're off. <laughs> Come on, guys. When you pledge a sail, you only go out on the perfect day, which means you sail four or five times a year. But when you have to show up every Wednesday night, you sail in all conditions, you also sail with people better than you. And you see how they do it, and you get better. There's a nice race going on here between Kelly and Scott Free. They're both closely matched boats. They're both flying Scots. So sometimes you have a race and then you've got a little race within a race. And that's what's going on with these two boats. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're, we're in the middle of the pack. So we're gonna come up right behind this guy. Hoping to gain the upper hand, Doug gets out the whisker pole. So it's just like a cat whisker to hold the sail out to grab as much wind as possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lured boat. Lured boat. You're going to hit our... You're going to hit our... Is that a foul? Yeah, that's a foul. It's tight competition, sometimes a little too tight. You're giving him a, a, a push, OK? Hold it, hold it. Woo! Whoa. Gotcha. Sorry. Gotcha. Sure, that's not cheating. <laughs> As long as you push the other way, Harry. You guys just want to hang out with us. <laughs> we got turkey sandwiches. <laughs> Two seven five eight.
Kelly, 2800. Where's that gust of wind we were hoping for? <laughs> <laughs> nice race, guys. The wind kicked up as we neared the finish line. Here you go. Here you go. Colin, Colin Scott Free. 3739 for Scott Free. You beat him. All right. Lost one. Unfortunately, when handicaps are factored in our mixed boat division, we land at the back of the pack. I think you jinxed us. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 80-year-old sailors who are beating me. And so it's something you can carry on for a long time. And there are a lot of sports you can't do that. So the race is over and now the wind is here. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's like every night. Now we're really going. Can we do another race? We can. <laughs> can we do it again? Do we get a mulligan? No matter how you place, this place never disappoints. You're out on Lake Sunapee, and even when you have a bad race, things gone wrong, and you're finishing near the back of the pack, you start sailing home, and it's just a beautiful lake. And you sit there and say, how lucky are we?